a large sedan with the frankly ambitious name Senator claimed a place of honor in the global automotive hierarchy. What is the former flagship of the Opel lineup? As conceived by Russell Hay marketers, the Senator was a strategic model. It was supposed to raise the image of the Opel brand to a higher level, which would allow it to compete on equal terms with the more prestigious BMW and Mercedes. The first and second generation Senator was created on the basis of the Opel E-Class models, record in Omega, A, and by and large represents their more expensive and, accordingly, much better equipped modification. However, as time has shown, this model has not won the love of demanding and conservative Germans, who are accustomed to the Bavarian 5 E34 and the Stuttgart 124. Although it partially fulfilled its task, it proved to consumers that Opel business class cars can be of high quality and comfortable. And this contributed to an increase in demand for the second generation Omega B, which, in fact, replaced two models in Germany at once, its predecessor and the hero of our story, Senator. The high status of the car was emphasized by a more representative body than the Omega, A, with an abundance of chrome parts. The signature feature of the Senator's appearance is a massive radiator grille, the lower part of which cuts into the front bumper, and a wide side glass in the rear pillar, emphasizing the car's long length. At the same time, the wheelbase of 2,730 mm and the width of 1,763 mm are the same for the relatives. Unfortunately, the Senator inherited its main drawback from the sister, low immunity to the red disease. Vulnerabilities of the body are the arches of the rear wings, the lower edges of the door panels and sills. All of them require anti-corrosion prophylaxis during operation. But the main trouble is that the support cups of the front struts rust and rot. You can identify the problem by frequent misalignment of the camber slash convergence of the front wheels but all other structural elements of the car resist corrosion well even on copies of the first years of production. To match the appearance and interior, with a claim to the importance and solidity. Moreover, the quality of its performance is much higher than that of Omega, A. When you open the doors, the sills trimmed with aluminum lining, as well as the wide front panel, decorated with decorative wooden inserts, and the large center console, trimmed with leather, immediately catch your eye. The side air vents placed on the top of the front door cards look original. As a rule, there are senators in expensive trim levels, including leather trim, full power accessories, heated seats, and air conditioning. By the way, with the presence of the latter, the glove box turns into a convenient refrigerating chamber, into which cold air is blown through a special damper. All seats are wide and comfortable. Both front seats are equipped with a variety of regulators that allow you to change not only the longitudinal position of the pillow and the angle of the backrest, but also the height of the seat, as well as the angle of the side and the depth of the lumbar support. The back is very spacious, and there is more than enough free space from the knees to the backs of the front seats. All Senator engines are distinguished by a large appetite, consuming an average of 12 to 16 liters of gasoline. There were no diesel versions of the car so you won't be able to save money during operation. Moreover, the line of power units consists only of multi-liter inline six-cylinder engines, see table. They are distinguished by a large resource and are able to serve about 500,000 kilometers before overhaul. Although, according to the menders, the owners themselves, who ignored regular maintenance, brought the motors to a premature death themselves. On older specimens, the pipes of the cooling system often dry out and crack, which causes the engine to overheat. And inline sixes are very afraid of this, as a rule, in this case, the cylinder head is bent and its gasket burns out. Over time, the airflow meter may fail. The malfunction is determined by the increased fuel consumption, which is already considerable. With a run of 300,000 kilometers, it is recommended to change the timing chain along with the camshaft and crankshaft sprockets, as well as the damper and hydraulic tensioner. The fact is that the chain serves about 250 to 300,000 kilometers, and then stretches. At the same time, the noise of the engine is noticeably increased. In C30 SE motors, even chain brakes were noted when it was worn. Senator was equipped with both 5-speed manual transmissions and 4-speed automatic. According to service workers, with proper care, both types of gearboxes are reliable, so you cannot refuse to buy a version equipped with an automatic. Although it is necessary to conduct a qualified diagnosis of such a checkpoint, maintenance of the machine consists in changing the oil, filter, and oil pan gasket every 40 to 60,000 kilometers, 
and the mechanics in updating the lubricant after 80,000 kilometers. Do not forget about changing the oil in the rear gearbox after 80,000 kilometers. With age, the seals of the axle shafts, as well as the shanks of the gearbox and gearbox, often begin to flow. Fluid leaks may also occur in the clutch hydraulic system. As a rule, the working cylinder loses its tightness. But the crosses of the cardan shaft and the outboard bearing of the outboard clutch, as a rule, walk for a long time. An independent and energy-intensive suspension provides the car with excellent ride comfort, without creating discomfort when driving on our roads. For better stability, the chassis of the sedan is equipped with front and rear stabilizers. In principle, most of the parts are durable, and more often than others, on average, after 40 to 50,000 kilometers, you will have to change the front stabilizer struts. Age-related disease of the front end springs sag due to heavy motors. By the way, many suspension parts can be replaced with the corresponding spare parts from Omega, A. True, the Senator's rear suspension is additionally equipped with towing control rods, this technical solution was subsequently used in the second generation Omega. As a rule, towing should be checked and adjusted twice a year or after high-speed driving on a bumpy road. The steering on all Senators is equipped with hydraulic booster. According to experts, over time, the booster pump and steering gearbox begin to flow. Although you cannot worry, these nodes are maintainable. The braking system, thanks to the use of all disc mechanisms in the ABS system, is very effective. Please note that on older cars, the caliper guides and the parking brake drive mechanism often rust. Therefore, during operation, they need regular maintenance. Buyers are attracted by the relatively low cost of used Senators, see table well. Why not buy a richly stuffed business sedan at almost the price of an Omega, A? Eh? But this car is much more expensive to operate than its less prestigious sister. Therefore, you need to carefully weigh all its pros and cons and decide whether you can maintain this former Opel flagship. We also recommend that you do not spare money for qualified car diagnostics.